couple months ago, I was given an opportunity to choose uh, among a list of films that were due to be released for home video by Kino Lorber. And one of the titles that I chose was this one right here called The Revolution Generation. Uh, it's a documentary. It's about 79 minutes long. It was released in 2021. The DVD itself is pretty basic, bare bones, no inserts, no special features. Uh, so cinematically, I'm not going to say a lot about that, although it's competently made and certainly has a lot of very interesting visual elements. I'll play some of the trailer in a little bit to offer a few more of my additional comments. Uh, but I chose this uh, title specifically because I wanted to see what a uh, 21st century, 2020s-ish uh, documentary would have to say to this revolution generation, that is the millennials, the younger people born between 1980 and 2000 who are, you know, just kind of coming of age or maybe a little bit past that now if you think about the younger end of that range. Uh, because of the political situation that we're facing in this country and the, uh, you know, pretty significant evidence of serious regression that's taken place, especially in our political and legal system as a result of Supreme Court rulings and just the, kind of the way politics has gone in this country over the last several years. Uh, these are some pretty discouraging developments and some fairly dark times, I think, especially for younger people. Um, myself. I feel a little bit not detached or removed, but certainly not as directly affected by the consequences of some of this uh, as younger people who are, you know, having to deal with more of an uphill struggle to have even basic rights and opportunities recognized. The documentary does a really solid job of kind of providing a chronicle of our times, uh, playing off the stereotypes of millennials that are kind of foisted by you know, people older than them, people like my age, I'm 60, uh, and also kind of captures recent historic events and all of the key moments that have really shaped the, the consciousness and the sense of identity for many younger people, again, born towards the end of the 20th century. Uh, but, you know, there are some, there are some drawbacks and some criticisms I have of this film as well. And it has to do with its reliance on this whole uh, generational model, the, the, the fourth turnings and the, you know, the kind of concept that every 20 years there's this generational shift of awareness and compassion and empathy. And, you know, those are interesting theories. There may even be some sociological trends and things that can back that up. But I really feel like it casts this sense of inevitability over the um, likelihood of social uh, change and uh, renewed values and, and kind of a more compassionate and inclusive ethos. I don't think that's necessarily the case at all. These, uh, you know, these challenges are going to have to be uh, addressed and, and in some ways rebuilt from scratch by younger people as uh, a lot of what they've been striving for is even further back than what it was when they were born. So uh, I recommend the film, but I also have some reservations about it. I'll have a few more things to say after this trailer uh, sequence ends. Revolution Generation is directed by Rebecca and Josh Tickle. I think that's how they pronounce their name. Seems like they have kind of a special interest in doing um, sort of progressive, friendly documentaries on the environment and other causes. This might be their most ambitious work yet. I haven't seen their earlier stuff. But they pull together a pretty impressive array of, of uh, footage from, you know, like I say, the last uh, 40 years, really, but emphasizing the events uh, that have made headlines since 2001, of course, 9-11 and all of that, and bring it right back up to the, you know, kind of the end of the Trump era. Um, so I do recommend this. I mean, the DVD is probably not very expensive. And I would say its its best use is to show to people and generate some conversations. I would definitely like to watch this with uh, my kids who are all in their 30s now and, you know, starting families and kind of getting that whole thing going. Uh, but yeah, you know, we, we are in a, a very vexing and politically charged era that has maybe even moved in directions that would surprise the people who made this movie just last year, you know? 
So, uh, yeah, I do encourage young people to, you know, possibly take some motivation and some encouragement from this, the, the, from this uh, documentary, but don't take it for granted that things are just going to naturally move the way that you think they ought. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hard work involved and a lot of sacrifice, a lot of setbacks and discouragement. Um, you've got my support. I wish there were more people my age who were ready to get behind you, and I hope there are. We'll see how it all unfolds in the months ahead.